This was how my face looked after 3 hours 11 minutes of waiting. I'm always head over heels when I know I'll be traveling from Freetown to the provinces. Guys, if you were in my shoes, then you'll understand. Because after a very long time, this opportunity of traveling from Freetown to the provinces gives me an opportunity to inhale and exhale extremely clean, spotless air. You know how congested and polluted it is in Freetown, so that makes it a huge struggle for some of us to breathe in and breathe out some clean, fresh air, right? Look at it. Check, check, just check the landscape. This is my land, guys. This is the green, white, and blue. It's called Sierra Leone. Whenever I travel from Freetown to the provinces, there's always a reminder in my head of a certain line that we have on our national anthem that says the hills and the valleys re-echo our cries look at how well laid our hills are these are naturally laid out hills see the beautiful green scenery how calm it is if you were opportune to feel the cool breeze then you know how it feels you will understand what i'm talking about check out all these beautiful houses along the road whilst driving the people living in this place oh my goodness this so full with serenity i am jealous when we get to the middle of the year then Sierra Leone starts its rainy season so if you experience sunshine all throughout the day during this time that means it's your lucky day but unfortunately mm -mm, it wasn't my lucky day at all that day when I was traveling there was heavy downpour it was raining and when it rains in sierra leone it's not a joke at all for people who have visited sierra leone during the rains they'll tell you that sierra leone in fact i used to have a friend that would tell me that babe when it rains in sierra leone it doesn't rain it pours this was one of the interesting and scariest moments during my travels. Take a very close look at what you're seeing now. Can you see the metals that braces the windshield? <laughs> Guys, there was no wiper to clean off the rain from the screen. The more it was pouring, the more the driver was accelerating when we were driving. He couldn't stop. I thought maybe um, he wasn't ready to turn it on. Oh my God, my people. The rain chose to go to war with us. It wasn't an easy battle. It rained for more than 40 minutes and the downpour was so heavy. You can see the screen. It was all covered in water. There was absolutely nothing to wipe off the water. The driver chose not to pull over. He didn't pull over. We were just driving under the rain with, with the screen all covered in water. There was nothing we could do all i was doing was just praying to god asking god to take us safely say god just stop the rain in order for us to have, to get to our destination safely and thankfully after about 40 to 45 minutes it stopped and finally we got to bow i was so tired i needed some rest so i decided to crash at Galliness Paradise. For now, if you're coming to Bo and you need a place to sleep, please check out Galliness Paradise. Shout out to them. It's a beautiful place. You love it there. You enjoy your stay. Just give it a try.
you get to see this bold sign that reads welcome to godliness paradise hey guys so i just got to godliness i'm trying to figure out where my room is um it's been a terrible experience traveling from Freetown to school um because my final destination is Liberia. but i had a terrible one my room is somewhere upstairs I'm trying to go upstairs that's my bag it smells so good in here We're here. This is my room. And I'm gonna spend the night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Um guys, I just got into my room and it's really nice. I'm gonna show you the bed. It's quite a small one, but I'm sure it's gonna be comfortable. Let me take you around and then you see. I dropped my purse on the bed. See the bed, it's quite a small one. But well, that's fine. But it's just me alone. <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy it, by the way. There's this little table, a small cup, uh, wardrobe, a chair, a lamp, small TV. There's this nice bedroom um fridge um what else you like to see oh there's this beautiful artwork here this is the washroom okay there you go but i've requested for them to change my room because i really like the leakage on the floor and uh, my last experience i had in may because i celebrated my birthday party here in may I brought in my friends from Freetown. I will spend time here. Um, one of the chalet that we had had this kind of um, overflow of water, so there was leakage and other things, and it wasn't good at all. So the moment I saw this, I, I had to ask them to change my room, give me a better one. At least that's what I deserve, huh? Guys. This is the bed, but let's wait and see how the other room will look like. Okay, so they just moved me into another room. You may not notice it, but I think, um, let me try to see what's the difference. Of course, the chair, yes, the other room, I think the chair was brown. This one, it's gray. It's still the same wardrobe. I've moved in my things here. Let me go get a quick shower. I need to rest and maybe I'll go down to the pool. Just give you guys an insight of how galliness looks. And if I'm not too tired, if I still have enough energy, I'll do a little bit of vlogging for you. Okay, catch up later, guys. So guys, I've already had a really hot bath which I like after the exhaustion and frustrating travel from Freetown to Bo. That was really needed. I'm currently at the restaurant trying to get dinner. I just wish, oh how I wish I could have a really deep <laughs> massage. But sadly that's not possible. I'm the only one here. So I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat for dinner. Definitely it's gonna be rice. Where I come from in Sierra you don't know, rice is our staple food, so we eat rice in the morning for breakfast, we eat it in the afternoon for lunch, we take it for dinner, and sometimes even supper, rice, rice. I just wish after dinner, if I'm not that tired, I'll just take a walk around, and then go tuck myself in my bed, and fall asleep. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm not sure I'll be able to do any more vlogging. I'm so tired. See, my eyes are sinking at the moment. I need to catch some sleep and we'll continue when I wake up. Good morning, guys. Morning. I'm awake now. 
but sadly I can't do a proper vlogging to show you all around the place because I'm really late it's 7:11 a.m. and I'm trying to catch my next um, vehicle to board for Jendema that's where another vehicle is waiting for me to pick me up and take me directly into Liberia so catch up later I was told by the driver that driving from Bo to Liberia border, for me I stopped at Jendema, but Jendema is very close to Liberia border, um, takes about two hours. That's two hours drive. Basically because there's just a very small part on the road you find that is still under construction. I think that's going to take you less than 30 minutes. You reconnect to the tar road and there you find Zimi. Wow, it was quite an experience. I spent two hours at this beautiful place. It's called Jendema. I saw the peaceful exchange of trade. Liberians coming into this place, into Jendema, to do their trade at a very peaceful and calm manner. Sierra Leone and Liberia, these are two wonderful countries. Wow, I felt really blessed to have experienced this. I hope you did. Thank you for watching. See you next time, guys. We love you.